Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for you guys, for those who don't know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event. It's coming up where Bao is going to be trading live in front of members. Uh, August 17th, mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% free for annual and lifetime members and it's only access to them as there is limited seating. While lifetime members on top of that get extra coaching before the event and front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in Slack and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, Today, we have a very special video for you guys. One of our head moderators, Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader in chat, does a trade recap on the big cap ticker symbol ROKU or Roku. While this is just a sample of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, everybody, Austin here, uh, back for another trade recap. But before I do, I want to say I'm not licensed, I'm not registered. I'm not a financial advisor and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so I just want to do a quick video this time about a, go, uh, a, couple, of, a couple of trades that I made um, this week because it, it was a really slow week for me and I didn't get much exciting trades off. You know, there was Berg and Workhorse and I kind of I already went over those. And um, this is kind of more along the large cap segment of like my experimentation of my trading. I've been trading a lot more large caps lately in, rel in relation to how I used to trade. And so I kind of want to go over my journey and this is part of the journey. So um, this is what like Roku is one I had on my watch list uh, that I uh, went over in the webinar. Uh, the first webinar that I did. Uh, and anyway, so this was my trade on it actually. So you can kind of see like I, I, I had to do this at another time. So, you know, so right at around here is when the right. At, oh, sorry. Right at around here, I, I shorted it because it um, we just kind of double top broke a lower low, broke VWAP, broke 85. This, this is the, I, I feel like there's going to be some profit taking and I can get a quick scalp out of this. This is also if you look at the time here right around here what time is this like where I scalped it right around here 10 o'clock this is when like the spy started to tank right this is when we got the big candle on the spy like right right around here like we started to really tank here um, on these big red volume candles and I was like and you know it was a breakdown from the spy so I'm like okay maybe this is gonna follow the spy I can get a quick scalp on the follow-through momentum on that so the 285 is now my level and pull my trade I think I missed that I missed like I think I missed that entry um yeah what time did I get in around one? Oh no I did get that cool so when we when we pushed the 285 I let it test and see if it was going to make higher lows and around like one o'clock when we were going strong here when we were holding this strong on the spy I decided to get short um with the attempt that it might push to green again They're the same kind of idea like green is around 287's area is can I get a prior close yeah or 288 so when we're holding strong here and I'm expecting like a push to the green um, I'm trading that like because it's holding 285 again like we might get some push into the green territory so that's when I um, trade down here um, I get a nice another little scalp out of it or right around here and I'm trying to work better on my patience with these like I, I showed it around here at 40s and got the 38s. Like, um, it's very tough. Like, I, I've noticed like my patience is very like, I'm getting sometimes I'm getting rewarded for not having patience, and that's kind of conditioning me to be a piker. There are big moves to be made. I guess I just need to get a little bit more familiar with these kinds of ETFs. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com.
I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.